Give me the word in. Order! Order! I say to the honourable gentleman, give me this. I will not tolerate such behaviour. I don't think this has done this house any good today. I'll be quite honest, I think it's been I think it's been ill-tempered. I think it shows the public that this house has not learned from the other way. Mr Speaker, if anyone wants to see what uncontrolled immigration looks like, all they've got to do is wake up tomorrow morning, listen to the headlines and see what this government... Order, order. Ms Bristol, I think you're going to be leaving. I'm, I'm asking you to leave now, because otherwise I'll name it. I'm not having it, and I've warned you before. It's the same people. And the same will happen on this side. I'm very sorry that the sequencing uh, that we chose was not to your satisfaction. I was... Uh, <coughs> to order, 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 order. That is totally not acceptable. No. Who do you think you're speaking to, Secretary of State? I don't want... I think we need to understand each other. I am the defender of this house and these benches on both sides. I am not going to be spoken to by a Secretary of State who is absolutely not accepting my ruling. Take it with good grace and accept it that members should hear it first, not a WMS or what you decide. These members have been elected by their constituents and they have the right to hear it first. And it is time this government recognised we're all elected, we're all members of Parliament, and use the correct manners. Secretary of State. I guess the question for both of us is what does the Honourable Leader of the Opposition think about this? Because it's quite hard to keep up. Can, can, I, can I just remind the Prime Minister? It's Prime Minister's question. It's for him to answer. Not asking, not, not for what the opposition's doing. Stephen Flynn. Mr. Somebody flashed a camera then. It's quite serious to take photographs in the chamber. No, no, there was a different camera. Can I just say, if the member knew they'd taken the photograph, one, I expect them to leave and I expect them to go out to the chamber. It's totally unacceptable when the Browns are speaking. <laughs> Shut up a minute! <laughs> What's this for? <laughs> Get it off! Give me the word in. Order! Order! I say to the honourable gentleman. Give me this. I will not tolerate such behaviour. If you want to go out, go out now, but if you stand again, I will order you out. Make your mind up. And then shut up and get out. I warn the honourable member that if they protest in Curling to shut up a minute. I order. Shut up. Neil Hamby, I am now naming you and Kenny McCaskill to leave this chamber. So I just deal with them. Deal with them. Inadvertently misled, I'll give you one more chance. As leader of the SNP, I don't want to have to throw you out. I'm going to give you this chance. Please. Please to power. That man has left out the house. Shut up. I'm sorry it's come to this. And I'm sorry that the leader of the party has not got the decency to just withdraw those words in order that this debate can be represented by all political leaders. We've taken the tough decisions. I can't hear what the Prime Minister's got to say. No, I would have thought, I would have thought he's the Prime Minister of this side of the house. I'm surprised that this side of the house is one to listen to it, because I do. Prime Minister. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr Speaker, uh, but we still have not heard why the Honourable General will not tell... Oh, 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 oh. And, and Minister, and he talks about Prime Minister, Minister, sit down. Prime Minister, I'm not going to be challenged. You may be the Prime Minister of this country, but in this house, I'm in charge. Yeah. And we're going to...